And a very, very good Sunday fun day to you. 9.49 now the time. This is our final segment for the Eat, Drink, Explore radio network. Two hours of conversation about the latest food, beverage, and travel trends, primarily here in California. Hopefully you've enjoyed the show thus far. I'm your host, Randall White, joined by Patty Pyburn. Good morning, everyone. Yes, good morning to you. And uh, we are joined for this segment by Executive Chef Jackie Hanover with Alex Madonna's Gold Rush Steakhouse at the Madonna Inn Resort and Spa. And you can go to eatdrinkexplore.com. And click on recipes, and you'll see featured there uh, Jackie's Cheese and Fig Crostini, which has a very interesting story behind it. We were talking during the commercial break, we were talking about the show Iron Chef, where they're given a list of ingredients, and then it's like, go. (laughs) Right. (laughs) And make something. (laughs) Build build something around this one ingredient. And Jackie, you were telling us that uh, this Cheese and Fig Crostini dish has roots that are sort of like that same situation, right? Right. Um, We were asked to do the savor, the mission dinner, and they gave me a list of ingredients. We had to come up with three appetizers. And so this is one of the appetizers off of those ingredients. The fig was in there, so. And the ingredients were from Mission Times? Mission Times, right. Yeah, and so uh, so you get this list of ingredients, and you're like, all right, how am I going to make something modern from Mission Time ingredients, <laughs> right? Right. And uh, so uh, what made you think to marry these different ingredients? Um, I think the, the fig and the port just go really well together, mm-hmm. and they were having a wine pouring session during the appetizer pass around, so I just thought that would go great with red wine. Yeah. And you're, you're seeing more, I th- I'm seeing more of it anyway, of uh, the sweet and savory together. Like you're seeing the mm-hmm. salt on the chocolate, uh, right. right? Those sorts of things. I love those flavors. It's a good blend, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess uh, really what we were talking about before, the Monte Cristo sandwich is that way as well. Right. With, <laughs> with the savory and the sweet. Uh-huh. So this includes, which we have plenty of in California, wonderful sourdough baguettes, right? right? Just find your, ever, your closest artisan one. Mm-hmm. I like to use, is it Brian's Bakery here locally? Oh, that's um, a good one. Yeah, uh, oh. really good. Really good stuff. And then um, you use uh, half a pound of figs and you finely chop them. Right. And then um, three quarters of a cup of port. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have a hard time making that into the, uh, for the port. Well, you would have to put two, double that. One for you and one for the recipe. <laughs> okay, right. Right. So a cup and a half of port. Yes. And half of that goes into the recipe. And then, <laughs> and then a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of water. Uh, and you use the you put the water in there because you're going to be uh, uh, reducing We're it. We're going to be reducing it. So you want to reduce it 15, maybe a little bit longer minutes to get that syrupy consistency. And reduction just means keeping it on heat for... Just keep boiling it. Just keep boiling it. Boiling it, it down, mm-hmm. yeah. So you're kind of boiling the water out so the sugar and the port is going to make your syrup. So they blend. What right. would happen if you didn't put the half a cup of water in there? Would you have a shorter reduction time? No, you have to... It, oh, I don't know. Could you? Would you be able to to cook it with just the port? Would, or would you I have a burning burn. situation? Yeah. yeah, I think you'd have a burning situation. So the water situation. keeps it from burning. Right. Oh, okay. Uh, and then... Uh, While well, releasing the sugars from the fig as well. Oh, right. Because you want a longer boiling time for mm-hmm. that to happen. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, see, there's a reason why the ingredients are in the <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Randall, stop second guessing. Uh, eight ounces of goat cheese. Do you have a particular goat cheese you prefer? Um, some of the local ones are really good. Um, yeah. yeah. What's the one out of Templeton? That was um, the one I was thinking. I, I know. I can't think of happy, happy. happy oh yeah. Acres? Happy acres. Happy acres. Happy acres. acres. Yeah. yeah. That was the and one And those goats are on a special actually. diet. They are. And the owner knows them all by name. If yes. you go visit her, she can. Uh, she that's a just, great. That's a great place. She could just be pulling names out of her hat. I don't know, but, <laughs> <laughs> but but when I've been there, she'll be like, "Come over here, Elizabeth," and you know, yeah. and she seems Susie to know Q. them all, right? <laughs> exactly. And then finally, and this is the part that I like, and I didn't realize this came from Mission Times, but a half a cup of toasted pistachios, mm. uh, finely chopped. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, to toast the pistachios, do they come that way, or you just throw them in? You can get them that way. You can get already, them that way. Already uh, toasted. Trader Joe's Trader or something. Joe's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We're, we've become a little bit lazy with tra- Trader Joe's. It makes things really easy. And they're not a sponsor. I'm just saying. It's like, uh, a, you know. But you could toast them yourself in the you oven. Could. Just and, and what does the toasting do? Bring out some of it uh, sort of caramelizes mm-hmm. a little? Mm-hmm. And you want that crunch. Yeah. Because pistachios just on their own aren't as crunchy. Mm-hmm. Pistachios, I I could be wrong, but I'm almost certain that um, like 90% of the pistachios grown in the U.S. are, are here in California. 
I would say so. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, and they color them. That's not a natural color. I forget why they, they, yeah, I forget why they did that. There was mm-hmm. a reason behind it. Um, I know I can't remember either, but you're right. There is a reason. And then finally, the, the ingredient that goes in, uh, seriously, three out of four dishes I make at my house, olive oil. <laughs> and the wonderful thing about California is we have some of the best olive oil in the world now. Mm-hmm. You know, it's everywhere. Right. You use a lot of olive oil at Madonna Inn? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of olive oil. Yeah. So um, so then throw these together and uh, you'll come up with, you'll really impress your friends. And the picture that we have online, you have a little mint sprig right in the middle. Um, do you find, that is mint? That is mint. Okay, good. <laughs> I was guessing. but <laughs> uh, Grown at the Madonna Inn. <laughs> really? Do you have an herb farm there? Oh, we have, uh, our gardeners grow herbs throughout the the property yeah so, yeah and so uh i figured you the madonna family has plenty of land uh so you could <laughs> you can probably source a lot of stuff just through the family right yeah so <laughs> but we have herbs and plants growing all over the property so yeah nice little resource there how many different restaurants are at the madonna in we've got the coffee shop and the steakhouse and then we've got a lot of banquet rooms as well so yeah the one at any time there can be banquets going on the one you can see from the highway that's kind of rounded, that's like a banquet with all that's the glass. That's the a, round room. It's yeah. a banquet room. Right. I was always wanting that one to be a public room because <laughs> it just looks so cool. I, I want to be in the round one, but they're like, no, it's for yeah, banquets it's banquet. only. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't, I don't want a friends to have a banquet. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that. Uh, but for people that haven't been to the Madonna Inn, uh, there's a lot of pink. There's a lot of pink. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of uh, gold. Uh-huh. Uh, and uh, it's... Uh, it's and it's on purpose this way, over the top, right? Right, over the top. It's now, just fun. <laughs> now, what about when you plate the dishes? Are you are you trying to uh, to make it look over the top as well, or is that the one subdued thing that comes out? Um, I would say some of the. I mean, the portions are over, over the, the top, top. <laughs> <laughs> especially if it's a top sirloin. Uh, the steaks are huge. Are huge. huge. Yeah, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but some of the sandwiches as well. Our beef dip is like one of the best on the central coast i would say my dad has uh his best friend uh, a guy named Vern, who when he's he's originally from the central coast here and they always make it to the madonna inn for the steaks because that's what he wants like the biggest <laughs> giantest <laughs> juicy steak. juiciest <laughs> steak ever you know uh what about some of the rules around cooking meats um are can you still serve meat that's like Pretty much mooing, <laughs> mooing inside right yeah. you can if the customer requests it okay yeah oh really they okay. say i want it rare then they've taken... That's how they get it. Yeah. They've taken that. And they have to away. sign that waiver that yeah. you handed. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> Executive chef Jackie Hanover from the Madonna Inn, specifically the uh, Gold Rush Steakhouse there. Thank you for joining us today on Etrick Explore. Thank you for having me. And make sure you head over to etrickexplore.com and check out her chi- cheese and fig crostini recipe. It is a Delicious. good Delicious. All right, I just want to thank everyone involved with putting this show together. And next week, we're going international. The art of using chopsticks. You know, there's a lot of rules around them. We'll be explaining coming up. Make it a great day, everyone. You've been listening to the Eat, Drink, Explore radio program. If you missed any of our segments today, look for them online or through our free Apple and Android apps. Catch you back right here next week.